Gemini, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my loves. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Gemini, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer, pay it, no mind. Feel the energy and remember roles can always be reversed. Gemini, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. Ooh, all right, let me tell you how your energy is coming in. You want to pull a Earl, but you can't, okay? You want to say, I don't care, but you can't, because you do. Um, I think somebody is going to call you or need you in one of those, oh, Gemini, I need you, I need you, help me, help me, help me, you know what I'm saying? And, and with every ounce of your being, you really want to say, go away please but you can't i ain't gonna lie um you're gonna have to talk this person off the ledge talk them down that's the only way you're gonna save yourself from stepping outside the boundary that you said that you wouldn't cross anymore um use your words your use your logic you know you know how to do this and you're not gonna want to do it but it's gonna be what needs to be done okay so when you get this call or somebody reaches out or they try to pull a U-turn, Gemini, I need you, I need you, I need you, blah, 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 blah. Um, your heartstrings are going to be pulled. Like I can feel the anxiety in my chest. I can feel that heaviness. Um, it's going to hurt, but you cannot. It's like you can't say I don't care because you do or you can't just walk away because this person might be uh mentally unstable okay so either way talk them down get them to breathe again get them to calm down um get them to reground refocus so that they keep their eye on the prize and but you keep the accountability of their life with them they're not taking it from themselves and putting it in your lap. You're not accepting that. What you are doing is saying, listen, I'm here um, for you and I'll try to walk you, I'll walk with you, I'll talk to you, but I will not carry for you, okay? Let's see what's going on. Gemini, please and thank you. We're pulling from the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Gemini, please. Never, never gonna give you up. I'm never, never gonna stop. Mm-hmm. You pulling a spirit of gratitude? Yeah. I think that's probably why you can't call Earl on this one because um, I think th this connection may have meant something to you at some point in your life. You know, it, it even might be respectful. You know, we can love through extension, you know, like somebody's child or somebody's parent that was a friend of your parent, like that kind of thing. Gratitude, you know, is very, very general and very, very open. So, you know, but either way, um, I think that's where the care comes from. It, it's out of a place of respect more so than, you know, love or uh, companionship, things like that. It's, it feels like respect. Okay. Uh, the time machine is coming in for you with endless possibilities. Ooh. Thank you, goodness, because, Lord, we're going to have to jump through a time machine to get past this. This is a heavy energy, this gratitude energy. I'm not lying. Somebody's coming in with something heavy, Gemini, so just brace yourself, okay? Um, but 
beyond that, you get to jump through this portal and the sky is the limit. And it looks like you're leading towards a new beginning with this great big love. This represents new beginnings, Ace of Cups energy. It's a yes energy. It's replenishing, restoring, uh, rejuvenating, washing of the spirit. You know, it's an energy of divine love and body and soul is with this. So relationship wise or even self-love and growth and development are all there, okay? Whatever you want, the possibilities are endless. Let's do the spread. See if we can get some more details. Oh, feels like a cancer. Cancer. What else am I smelling? Scorpio. Um, I'm picking up Taurus and Leo. That's not their MO though, but it's there. The energy is there. They may have that in their chart. Or they just may think highly of themselves. Can I have the core for Gemini? Please, and the page. And the Five of Cups, yeah. You know, I don't know. Gemini, I don't like you in the center of your own, not in the center of your own reading. It feels like a hijack, but that's how heavy this person is in, in your energy or in this reading um, anyway. Uh, they're taking over the core of your reading because this page is the person that's going to need you and they're going to need you bad. They messed up or something messed up. And yeah, they need your help. And you all sitting pretty and grounded and living your best life. And they're going to need you. Let me pull another deck. I don't like you not in the center of your own reading. Hold on. Mm, doobie doobie. We're going to pull you with the animals. Let's see if we can change the direction a little bit. But this page, they're going to need you because they're doing something that's going to get them in trouble. They're um, acting too soon, you know. They're putting in a change of address and don't have no place to go. Hello? Who does that? Let me have Gemini, please, and thank you. The Three of Pentacles, they need your help. Teamwork makes the dream work. Knight of Cups at the bottom and you care. Yeah. They need your help. They need your expertise. They need you. And I want you to assist. I don't want you to carry this load. Don't say I'll do it. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. I got you. You better not. Crown this energy, please, for Gemini. Please and thank you. Okay. Crowning, I have a Knight of Pentacles and a Seven of Wands. Beautiful. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, normally, you know, I play around with it. I call it my turtle with hemorrhoids because it's a very slow energy, but it's assured. You know what I'm saying? You can depend on this night. That night is definitely dependable. The problem is that you don't know when that night will arrive with that pinnacle. You know, so you might be on crutches or in a wheelchair. I mean... You're needing Geritol. Hello? <laughs> but um, the knight is coming in with the seven of wands. What's crowning you basically is a message of um, take your time. You know, don't be so quick to defend this person because they're going to do something stupid and get themselves in a pickle. And they're going to need you. But take your time. Slow it down. All right, slow it down. Don't be so quick to defend. Look at it from all perspectives. The hangman is even at the bottom to remind you, see both sides of the coin, see their part, see uh, the other side of the situation 
And when you're looking at the solution, you know, how is this? Uh, the solution needs to be seen in a way or felt in a way that whoever this is that's going to need your help, that they see, they take, they see their part in it. You know, give them a lesson. What's working against Gemini? Please and thank you. The Five of Cups. Wow. Isn't that mirroring right there? The shoulda, woulda, couldas. Mm. So what works against you is the shoulda, woulda, couldas. There could be a bit of regret. The Ten of Pentacles is here. This could be family, you know. Wow. You ever tell some, you ever, how can I say this? I'm trying to be nice. It's like, if you wasn't my sister, I would. If you weren't my cousin, I would. If you wasn't my so-and-so, I would. That's how this feels. You know? But there's a spirit of gratitude here because you have gratitude for family, for, for, for dynamic of. You know, it's like, that's still my mother's child. That's still my mother's mother. Or, you know, that might be my favorite person, but that's my father's mother. That kind of thing. You understand? It's an extension. It's an extension of love. But this energy comes up working against you because though you have this gratitude, it's going to claw in to, it's going to pull on your heartstrings. Just take it slow. Don't be quick to react. Take it slow. Hold on for a minute. Okay? Hold on. Don't try not to get directly involved. What's bringing this on? Where is it coming from? For Gemini. The Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. Something at work. Maybe a boss or... Somebody tried to, uh, what's coming through is somebody tried to cheat somebody. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe they tried to cheat somebody or they did something wrong trying to run their business. Yeah, and judgment is right behind that. And they got caught playing around. Oh, Gemini, like you really need this in your life, for real. Where are we going with this? Future energy, the sun, yeah. You'll see things for what they are. They're going to see things for what they are. Leo energy with the sun, even with the king of wands still here, so you can get back to focus you know, on yourself, but make sure you're also focusing. L let me say this. Sometimes when people come to us needing help because they've got themselves in a situation, it's sometimes you should pray on it. Matter of fact, all the time we should be praying on it, but specifically praying for if whether or not it's your assignment to help. Because some people get are getting, they're in the middle of their journey, their storm, their tower. And you've had many. So you know what it's like. You know you panic. You just personally never had somebody to go to like this person has or feels like they have in you. You know? So some people, you know, you got to let them scrape their knee a little bit. Now, I'm not saying no, ab abandon them. But talk to them. Don't just... Pay it and fix it. Talk to them. All right? Because, it, you know, love, even by extension, in terms of gratitude, it's it shouldn't be this this hard and, and worrisome. This, this page has to learn, you know, how to boss up, how to correct their mistakes. How to think, how to make amends even. There's somebody running from the law here. I ain't gonna lie. You better not get in the middle of that, Gemini. You better not. 
Yeah, you don't take on that part of their journey. That's theirs. And you've been doing so much better. You've been trying to stay focused, stay grounded, love yourself, get on your path. So a lot of you got a new relationship you're kind of playing with. And you're focused on that and here somebody else come with a drama. When it rains, right? I think overall, you're going to have to kind of face a, 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 a tough decision. And the easiest way that, like I said earlier, that I could see you doing this is by assisting as verbally as you can without as little action as possible, you know? Because you have to keep it by doing that. If you face it in that way, you keep yourself in some type of emotional balance and control. That way you can still deal with your life, still keep your boundaries in check and assist at the same time. And that's you like really trying to keep your promise to yourself saying that I wouldn't do that no more. Let myself get all caught up in other people's foolishness again. But it's hard to do so. This is a stalker. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> let me say this. If this person in your, in this re, if you're resonating this, or of course this isn't happening yet, but when this happens, if it's an ex situation that you were done with, this person is toxic, they're a stalker, and they have no good um, intentions for you. They literally want to destroy anything that you hold dear. Okay? And that's really your anything, your emotional attachments, friends, family, finances, home, whatever. Okay? Yeah. So you might have to make a quick decision, make a quick move before you the one uh, the law looking for, hello? But don't let them drag you down. Don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. It's a trick. Yeah, you're making positive connections, positive moves. You're thinking clearly, you know? Even you're doing the inner work, you're connecting with spirit, you're just looking at life completely differently and you're seeing abundance of life completely differently. You're in such a good headspace right now. That's why the enemy is attacking you because you're really, you found some peace for a second. Hello? All right, Gemini, I hope this helps. If in the event you said, listen, Green Eyes, I don't know what you're talking about. Ain't nobody called me. And, and if they do call, I don't. Uh, uh, I changed my number. They can't call. <laughs> That's okay. This one might not be for you. Or the energy just might apply a little bit differently. Either way, please check your moon arising. Don't take the energy. If it's not yours, leave it here for someone else. Everyone, thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It is absolutely free and it does support the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.